Working remote or on hybrid teams is truly a blessing. I think we can all agree here. But that doesn't mean it can't be challenging as well at times. Too many meetings, information overload, keeping up with too many different channels and a lot of irrelevant information. Which makes it super hard for us to process all of it, locate information quickly and focus on topics that really matter to us. Hi, I'm Imge from Kayla and today I will show you how to create a more user-centric Confluence experience using Cosmos Intranet for Confluence. And with that, elevate engagement, drive efficiency and boost productivity within your teams. Cosmos will assist you in reducing information overload and help you focus on what truly matters. Let's start with a quick introduction of the key feature set in Cosmos. You can access the admin view through the app section. So here we have the Cosmos dashboard that looks super welcoming, well-structured and visually appealing. We have a bunch of sections like company news, upcoming events, team updates, quick links and so on to help you keep track of the happenings within your company. Of course, all of these components are configurable, so you can either remove them or add new sections to it, or you can change the titles to make it suit your specific use case. On the upper left side, we have one of the key features, the People Network. This feature allows you to easily search through different user collections or benefit from advanced filter options like job title, location and so on to connect, collaborate and innovate with the right people in your organization in just a few clicks. Next up is the Newsroom feature. This is your central hub for company blogs, news and updates to help your employees stay informed at all times. And don't waste time searching through endless Confluence blog collections. You can either type in a keyword in the search fields or you can benefit from the advanced filter options on the left side. So let's say you use the marketing filter. It will immediately show you all blogs that are within the marketing space. And then you can choose between different view types. Let's continue with the space station. This feature provides you a quick and comprehensive view of your content spaces, including categories like stared, watching or discover new spaces. This way, you can quickly browse through your content spaces and locate the information you need. On the left lower corner, you can access the user profile feature, where employees can effortlessly update their personal information, such as their bio, location, skills, expertise and so on. This allows other team members to get to know them better and to easily connect with them when their specific talents are required. Okay, now let's dive into today's topic, which is how to add some personalization elements to make your Confluence experience extra cozy. I would like to start with the Collections feature, which is the base for personalization in Cosmos. It allows you to create and manage user groups using information from the employee database, which I will show you now. I will click on the Create Collection button, then type in a name, which is Marketing Team in my example. Then I can choose a color and also add a description if I want. And now I can set filters by selecting different criteria like job title, location, expertise, etc. I will just go with the job title now in my example, which is Marketing Manager. And now my collection is ready. Perfect. Okay, we're now ready to start the personalization process. As you can see, we have a navigation menu with a bunch of entries and sub-entries. But as I'm part of the marketing team, I would prefer to only see entries that are related to marketing, like social media, marketing strategy, etc. So I'll go back to the settings, click on configuration. Here we can see all of our entries. The first three entries are intended for the development team, which is why I will now remove them from my list. I'll click on edit, go on personalization and change the view permissions to development team. I'll do the same with the next entries as well. I will not change the view permissions of the last two entries since they should be visible to everyone. And now I will save all my changes. Okay. Now let's check out the dashboard and as you can see, I can only see marketing related entries in my navigation menu. 
So now let's check out the developers view as well. For that I'll go back to the settings and change my job position in the employee database to software developer. Don't forget to save the changes. And now let's go back to the dashboard. And as you can see, my navigation menu changed to the developer's view. Perfect. Okay, now let's start to personalize our dashboard. On the left side, we see the company news. And on the right side, we see an important announcement saying the New York office will be closed on July 4th. Now let's make sure that this announcement is only shown to our US employees. I'll click on site content, go to info panel, click on edit, click on personalization and choose New York as this is the only office we have in the US. Now click on save, then go back. And now I will add another announcement. This time an announcement for the team in Berlin. I'll call it party alarm as fundman Andy is visiting on September 28th the Berlin office. Then I'll click on the personalization button again, choose Berlin and click on save. Now let's check out our dashboard again. And as you can see, I can only see the announcement for the Berlin office as I'm located in Berlin. And now let's also check out what the team in New York sees. For that, I'll go back to the employee database and change my location from Berlin to New York. Click on save again. Now go back to the dashboard. And as you can see, I see a different announcement now. My personalized dashboard for a member of the marketing team is not ready yet, as I would also like to add a section just for the marketing team. So let's click on main content, add a new section, the team news, change the title to marketing team updates. I have the chance to choose between different view types. I'll go with the grid view. I also have different filter options as well as design options. I will click now on personalization and choose marketing team. Now let's save all of it. Okay, now let's go back to our fully personalized dashboard for a marketing team member. So here we have our navigation menu with entries that are only relevant for marketing team members. This way, we will not get lost in Confluence and access the information we need in just a few clicks. We have a section with important announcements that are only relevant for the area we're located in. And then apart from the company news, there is also a section with updates only relevant for the marketing team. This way, we can reduce information overload and focus on topics that really matter to us. Creating a more user-centric Confluence experience is just one solution that Cosmos offers. There are way more functionalities to help you streamline your team's communication and boost productivity. And the best part of it, it's a free app. So make sure to check it out and discover the endless possibilities within Cosmos. Thanks for watching.